Hi, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to be putting together a remote crank switch, which is very useful in troubleshooting and possibly even starting your car in certain conditions. Um, these are also available, readily available, for not a lot of money. There's a Harbor Freight part there. But I happen to have everything I need just lying around, and they're durable parts. I'm going to put a fuse in there, and this came from an industrial enclosure. It's a 10 amp fuse, easy to change out. I believe in fusing anything electrical, pretty much, although the ones you buy on the market may not have fuses in them. This is another reason to build your own. And I've got a, a momentary switch here with normally open, normally closed contacts. Came out of a microwave oven. It's going to get a second life here now. And finally, I have some fluke leads, some spare fluke leads that happen to have really nice, strong, and wide alligator grips, which I think is important for this. Well, here's the assembled remote crank switch. Everything was put together in series, and I just banded it together <clears throat> like this. An advantage of turning the engine with a crank switch is that the fuel system won't be enabled, and the car can't start. So for certain applications, that's ideal. Okay, let's pop this back together then, uh, get a hold of a starter, test it out. I've wired a good used Dodge Caravan starter to a battery directly and now we'll just plug in the remote crank switch. One lead to the S terminal and the other lead to the big battery plus terminal. Looking good. Now let's say you have a vehicle such as this F-150 that won't start. Determine the battery's good, starter's good, let's get it going anyway. So now we've hooked up one lead of our remote start on the battery plus and the other lead on the S terminal to the solenoid. Turn the ignition on, but not start. With a problem in the ignition switch or wiring, this could get you going. The dealer we bought this pilot from said it had a new timing belt. We're going to check that out. So I've hooked one end of my crank switch to a test lead that I've hooked up to the S terminal on the starter and the other end is going to go to the battery plus terminal. We have the upper timing belt cover off, so as I crank the engine I'm going to be able to look closely at the timing belt all the way around. This belt is not brand spanking new, as the dealer said. And this is the remote start switch up on the B+. This is the voltage drop from the positive lead of the battery to the battery plus on the starter solenoid. found a bad B-plus cable. I find this so useful that I have taken to carrying it with me, right alongside of the, with the jumper cables. And um, on many cars you may have to pull out an S cable from the starter, but I think it's worth the effort. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos that you might find useful.